Hi friends, it's Teacher Bianca again. This week we are still learning about plants, so I'm going to read a new book to you about plants. This book is called Growing Vegetable Soup. Okay, and remember that every book has an author and it has an illustrator. The author is the person who wrote the words in the book and the illustrator is the one who drew the pictures. Okay, so in this case it was written and illustrated by Lois Ellert. Okay, now let's remember the different parts of the book. Okay, what do we call this part of the book? This is the front cover. Good job. Remember that the front cover has our title. The title is the name of the book. Okay, now if we turn it to the side, this looks a little different than other books because it's paperback, so it's thinner. This is our spine. And what do we call this part of the book? It is the back cover. Good job. Okay. Dad says we are going to grow vegetable soup. We're ready to work and our tools are ready too. The tools that they have are a rake, a shovel, and a hoe. We are planting the seeds. Now we can see that they're planting them using garden gloves. And then they have the seed packages right here and there are holes where we're putting each seed. They have a green bean seed, a pea seed, corn seed, zucchini squash seed, and carrot seeds. And all the sprouts. The sprouts are baby plants, okay? So we have some broccoli, some tomato, and they're using a trowel in order to put the plant into the soil. and giving them water. I see the water coming out of the watering can. Remember that plants need water in order to grow. And there's a couple more things that they need. And waiting for warm sun to make them grow. Plants also need sunlight, okay, to grow. And one more thing that we already mentioned, soil. Plants also need soil to grow and grow into plants. So we have some squash right here growing against that net. There's the bud, the squash blossom, and here is the zucchini. We watch over them and weed. They're using a hand rubber to weed. That means they're taking out anything that doesn't belong there that's affecting the plants, okay? until the vegetables are ready for us to pick. You see some tomatoes, some pepper, and some corn. And they're putting them inside the hand basket. Or dig up. There are some vegetables that we have to dig up from the ground, like potatoes and carrots. We can't see them at the top of the soil. It's underneath. So they're putting that in the basket using spading fork and carry home. Then we can wash them. Remember, it's very important to wash all your vegetables and your fruits before you eat them because they were in the ground or they're around dirt. And cut them and put them in a pot of water. I see all the different vegetables here and they're being put into the soup pot. We have the soup ladle and the knife. Those are our tools that we're using in the kitchen and cook them into vegetable soup. <gasps> Look at the steam coming out. We can see all the different vegetables that they grew, they picked, and then they put them in the pot. At last, it's time to eat it all up. It was the best soup ever. And we can grow it again next year. <laughs> 